Hi friends, this is Mohamed Jibran and welcome to our C-Sharp Tutorials. In this video, I am going to sh show you how to work with exception handling. So what is exception handling? Exception handling, you can take it as or you can consider it as the uh, runtime errors which might occur during the execution of your program. When you write your program or when you compile your program, you might take all the precautions that are necessary like syntax error, you will remove all of them like the uh, all the normal most of the errors you will be removing during the compilation time but the logical error or some errors which might error which might come during the execution of your program cannot be excluded uh, by your programming so just to handle those you need a tactic known as the exception handling to handle the exceptions that run that occur during the execution of your program so for that you need something that is works with these keywords try catch try catch okay so using this try and catch you can handle most of your errors and uh, one more will also be there that is finally okay so we'll be using these three keywords to work with our uh, uh, exception handling uh, mechanism this the uh, this will will be the syntax of our exception handling you will have a try block then you will have a catch block and then finally you will have a finally block so to explain that what we will do is we will write a program which can uh, give us an error during the runtime so i need two variables x and y i will assign x the value of 0 and uh, y will be calculated by uh, dividing a number with x okay so what i'm doing over here is uh, i'm dividing one number with the value 0 if i directly write 0 it will uh, not accept that that's the reason i need to go with uh, a method like this i need to use a variable so here i'm dividing my uh, integer with a uh, with the zero and uh, here I will try to print that I will write or will say this line will not be printed okay so let me just run it and show you what happens you see that window came and just it just went away and we got a error over here which saying attempted to divide by zero so if you see here our program does not show any kind of error since according to him everything is fine but when i try to run this it will give me an error this cannot happen okay or if you want that if you just want to see uh, did our program executed correctly so you can check that console dot right line to hit a key and uh, console dot read line okay will be uh, waiting till a line uh, till a key is hit and then we'll go and run do this stuff see now the program executed perfectly hit a key if i hit a key then it goes to that error so you see we have a runtime error how to handle this type of stuff so for that what we need is a try block this what you write in a try block is the code which you want which you think might throw an any type of error that code will be written in the try block and then we have the catch block in the catch block you will write console dot right line here you will write the code to perform when error occurs okay so when the this try block fails to run 
we will execute this catch block so let me just show you he is waiting for us to hit a key as soon as I hit a key it will display this and it will just go away so we will just make console dot read line ok and now this will run hit a key so we I hit a key and it says the code to perform when error occurs so what happened it tried to execute this part but since it gave an error it came directly to, directly to the catch block or if you want to see you can see it more perfectly using your uh, breakpoint I will try to run this and uh, we'll step down we'll hit a key and uh, we'll now we are in the try block it will try to execute this line and as you can see directly from here it came to the catch block and then you can see the attempted to divide by zero error has been displayed and it will display as the right line method okay so you can do whatever you want in the catch block once your try block uh, gives you any error it will go to the catch block and it will display you the errors if your try block successfully gets executed then your catch block will not work let me just show you division by two and now we'll run it and uh, i'll wait for a key and uh, we'll go to the next step okay so now this is executed and now you can see what happened that console that this part this line got executed let me just add this line and uh, show you that console dot read line okay we'll remove this breakpoint and we'll run this again now you can see this line will not be printed this line was written in the try block and now this has been printed and uh, this is how you can work with try and catch block and one more block as I said is the finary block and uh, this block as uh, you can guess this is the final block which will get executed and this block will get executed always this will be <coughs> executed always okay so whatever happens this block will be getting executed always so let me just run it will hit a key and this will line will not be printed and I hit one more key this will be executed always this was written in our finally block as you can see down over here this will be executed always and this was printed suppose if I go and make it again 0 division by 0 so let me just run it I'll hit a key the code to perform when error occurs okay so this was the error written in the catch block and I hit one more enter and says this will be executed always so as you can see whatever happens your finally block will be getting executed always so what you need to do you will write the code which you might think through an error during the runtime that code will be written in the try block what happens if that code occurs will be written in the catch block and the finally block can be used to do perform that code which uh, is necessary to be done whether or not the try block successfully executes or not this might be this might include closing files uh, emptying variables or what not so these are the basic three blocks or on in the ca exception handling you can work with these two only most of the time if you want you can go with finally if you require something like that which has to be done or these two blocks are most of the time enough to work with the exception handling hope you understood how to work with the exception handling and uh, thanks for watching the video